Hi everyone, here's a sneak peek of the new sound card we've been working on here at Texelec. This card has two Philips SAA 1099 chips as well as one Yamaha YM2151. It's designed to work with the IBM PC or clone in either an 8 or 16-bit ISA slot. I built this card to help with the design of the Commander X16 audio system. The current plan is for the X16 to have one YM2151 and possibly one SAA 1099 as well. We are still working on the final design, but I have been able to get both chips to work successfully on the Commander X16. To continue development of the X16, I needed a combined card with both the SAA 1099 as well as the Yamaha YM2151 to tweak the audio output for the final system. While researching the SAA 1099, it seemed like it would be straightforward to go ahead and clone the Game Blaster or Creative Music System card while building the ISA version. I largely researched the design by looking at the schematics of the Sound Blaster 1.0. I thought, heck, I've built a few sound cards now, this will be a piece of cake. I never even bothered to look at the schematic for the original Game Blaster, until my prototype board arrived, that is. Then I was like, hey, what's this huge chip on the Game Blaster doing here? Whoops. Seems like this chip acts as a detection circuit, and no software that uses the Game Blaster will recognize my card. After about two hours of reading, I found a clever circuit I could use and easily add to my design. I said that there were no programs that will work, but turns out there is one. Wolfpack for DOS. Wolfpack allows you to select the CMS or Game Blaster card, however, it always fails to detect the card even if a real card is installed. I guess the developers had an issue, so they allow you to use the option anyway? Why yes, thank you. And without further ado, here is the actual hardware playing the Wolfpack intro music. Since there never was a YM2151 based card for the PC, there's no software off the shelf that I can use to test this chip. The IBM Music Feature card uses a YM2164, which should be mostly compatible with YM2151. Unfortunately, the IBM Music Feature card is quite a bit more complex and will not work with my card. Fortunately, Barry Yost has been hard at work writing several Yamaha YM2151 test apps for the Commander X16. He suggested I port over his basic version of Stardust to the PC. So I did. Now here's Stardust running on the real hardware once again. We still have a bit of work left to do, but I feel we're close enough to go ahead and show the card off. I've also been chatting with a user from Vogons named OPLX, who's the author of SBVGM for DOS. SBVGM is a really nice, light DOS tracker. It plays VGM files great. Turns out, it should be trivial to add support for the YM2151, and while I can't make any promises, it's likely there will be a DOS tracker available to play VGM files back on a real YM2151. Thanks OPLX, and thanks everyone for watching. Take care.